We will not place our dependence on fleets and armies, but we will be peaceful in ourselves, in our words and our actions. Charlotte Jonas' new play, her first in more than a decade, begins with a calm gathering of friends in a Quaker's meeting place in rural Sus, circa 1805, and a declaration of pacifism amid the threat of French invasion. Braving hostility from locals, the friends live apart, and on moral high ground, yet it's not long before they're riven by violent passions. Jones, whose big calling card remains her comically deft, super-smart West End hit Humble Boy 2001 has written a serious, smoldering love story that touches on meaty questions about female empowerment, religious conviction and the treatment of disability. It marks a welcome comeback. And it doesn't seem fanciful to detect in the play's fascination with the value Quakers place on silence and the need to speak from deep within a parallel to the process Jones, who attended Quaker meetings for five years, has undergone in rediscovering her voice. The heroine is Rachel, a stonemason's wife whose supervigilant deaf mother lives with the couple and who has suffered three stillborn births, each time naming the dead boy Nathaniel. So when she encounters a handsome young red-coated deserter, we glean called Nathaniel, it almost feels like divine providence.